What's going on guys? Caleb here, Caleb's Property Maintenance. Alright guys, so today we are doing a little bit of landscaping. Um, as you can see by the sky, not looking too good. Uh, they're forecasting some thunderstorms possibly this afternoon. So we are not planning on doing any mowing. And I, I hate this kind of weather, I really do. Because last night they were forecasting today to be a complete rain out and then when I got up it was sunny. So uh, they have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and I absolutely, it absolutely drives me crazy because I was planning on doing my monthly invoices today and uh, obviously that threw that off. So I ran up to uh, our local garden store uh, Primex Garden Center for those of you who are in the area and uh, picked up this uh, small little U that a customer wanted me to plant in the place of this dead bush. So we're gonna put that in right here and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and uh, walk you through some of the uh, basic steps to maybe uh, help some of you guys out that might have to plant some shrubs or something like that. Um, so alright guys here we go. I'm going to see if I can just pull this out by hand. I should be able to. Oh wow, okay. I think part of the problem is, is there's weed guard here. So it's holding it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rake away some of these stones. Oh wow, this is thick stones, wow. Alright, there's that. Step number two, dig the hole. As you can see guys, I'm, I'm taking really good care to dig this hole nice and deep. And also, as 
as much as I can as, as much as I can to be bigger that around than that pot they say twice as big I don't think anyone ever does that twice as big that would be huge um, but I, I don't want it to be too deep but I want it to be some good and loose dirt down at the bottom so that way the roots can have some good good soil to grab onto. I'm also going to be using a uh, product which I'll show you in a minute that's going to have some fertilizer and uh, help cement the soil. So I'm going to be mixing that up in the wheelbarrow with the existing dirt and that will help it. I don't know why this dirt is so dry. We've had rain recently. Now let's see what we're dealing with here. Got a good hole. Let's check and see how tall. Okay, yep. Wait. Definitely, although, yeah, definitely too deep. They say that the plant should be sticking out um, an inch to two inches above the soil line, the top of the roof ball. Because um, I've learned this saying. Plant high so it won't die, plant low and it won't grow. We are going to, um, that's good because there's quite a bit of loose dirt underneath there. So now we're going to take this stuff right here, bumper crop organic soil builder, and we are going to mix that in with this dirt and then we're going to put, then we're going to put it back. Um, when we do the backfill, we're going to first put some at the bottom because it's too low and then we're going to um, put the rest on the side once we get the plant in. So, alright, let's keep going. really rich nice soil here so I'm just gonna mix it up with the shovel and then we will put some in the hole while mixing this up guys you may you might be wondering why are you wearing shorts Caleb well I don't get to wear shorts too often, and so since I'm not playing on mowing, uh, I decided, eh, why not just wear some shorts today? So that's what I did. Feels so good. I wish I could wear shorts all the time. Those of you guys that uh, weed whack know know exactly why I don't wear shorts when I'm mowing. Very painful. <laughs> and a lesson which I'm sure some of you have probably learned the hard way. Alright, I think this is pretty good. The uh, white flecks are not from that bumper crop soil. They are from that plant potting soil. Alright. That 
should be good for in the bottom. It might even be too tall, though. I always think it's too tall, and then it's just fine, so. That might be good. Yeah, I think that's probably good. All right, let's do it. Mmm, a worm was in there. That's a good sign. Mmm. Still looks a little bit low. That's okay because I remembered I have to put some water in the hole too. Anyway, so that's all right. I hate working with these red stones. Yep, that should be good. Boy, we have plenty of loose dirt underneath there. This is just, there's no way that this plant's gonna die. Unless the customer doesn't order it. All right, let's get some water. Good and wet, I'll poke it with the shovel, get it to uh, go down. You don't want standing water. Yep, right on down. Nice and wet though. All right, let's get this U in here. What side should I? How do we want this position? I would say like this. I want it. <laughs> I want the center of it as far away from the driveway as I can. Because it says it can grow three to four feet wide. So, I think that's in ideal conditions, and I don't think it has ideal conditions here. A little bit shady here, so we'll get it. All right, let's backfill this. Some nice, nice soil. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the excess. I mean, it takes a lot, guys. I'm gonna have to step this down. And It does take a lot. There we go, I think I got it. I want it to be too... I want the root ball to stick up some. There we go. Not bad, not bad. What am I gonna do with this excess dirt? Because <laughs> it has that bumper crop in there and I hate to just waste that. If it didn't have that in there, I wouldn't care. We'll figure something out. All right, let's water this thing some more and then put the rocks back.
Ugh, I hate these hoses. Alright, that should be plenty good. Still want that root ball to stick out some, so that should be about perfect, I think. That looks really nice. That turned out beautiful. Rid of this plant. Oh, I made a mess on the driveway. There you go guys, one last look. And that's how you plant a plant with Caleb's property maintenance. All I have to do is uh, clean that up and then I have to fertilize this uh, evergreen right here. I have to uh, guesstimate how tall that is. See the house, that's eight feet there at the gutter. So, that's probably 16 feet. Pretty close to 16 feet, I would say. Just sprinkled a granular uh, around the drip line. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it on the driveway or the pathway there, but we'll get it all around in there. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna use here. We'll see how that turns out. They have this one here. And I was trying to get the same variety. This one's supposed to be three to four feet uh, wide by three to four feet tall. So wait till you see the use in our yard. I wish ours were three by four by three by four. That would be so much nicer. There's, ours are so much bigger. Anyway, all right. So this is what I'm using to fertilize. Right here. Stuff called uh, Plant Trust Professional Tree and Shrub Fertilizer. Control release formula feeds for a full year. Full nutrient menu supports vigorous growth uh, and easy to use. It's a Pro Trust product, guys. Look it up. Uh, it's a 21512 formula. Encourages natural disease resistance. Sounds very good to me, guys. Check it out. ProTrustProducts.com. I'll put it in the in the description down below. So make sure you check it out. They have um, lawn fertilizer as well as uh, this plant trust. So make sure you guys check it out. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, how to plant a shrub with Caleb's property maintenance. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day. Man, guys, look at this guy. Ooh. Huh, there's the sun down there though. Whew. Does not look good at all. Alright guys, 